And it's red in the center and blue all around With a ribbon of gold in between And it's bigger than Texas and flatter than Spain And it's the best country I've ever seen At the Lindhurst end of the Streslecki track you'll find a national treasure. His name's Talc Alf and he's something of an institution in these parts. He welcomes visitors to his workshop just on the outskirts of town where he'll happily drop whatever he's doing to show you around. He's essentially a talc sculptor, but it's really his theories and his interpretations of our language that make him unique. P is a person symbol. You know, a five-year-old yeah. kid, you work that out. Yeah. Purple person. Well, when that person sits down, it becomes a G shape. There's your body. There's your head again. Yeah. And if you have a dish of food in front of you, you've got the give symbol. And all the words like give, good, gift, gracious, grateful. D I O. Well, if you lay the D sideways, it's one between the sun going up and the sun going down. The prime minister, the name is called Rudd. The R is the rolling sun. At one D means the sun set. At the going down of the sun, in the morning the new sun rises. That's whilst well, until they had a girlfriend. Yeah, well that's a true story behind that. If you put R O there, it's rolling with D O. So you got Ro D O, rolling with D O. One minute you're alive, the next minute you could be dead. It's sitting on the back down brighter. <laughs> yeah, Ro D O. See. <laughs> so the Aboriginals have been smart hunters. Designed the boomerang to the shape of the kangaroo leg. Why? What was the advantage of that? to break the leg, snap the back leg, and there's a skinny little backbone easier to snap, you see? And the proof is the name itself. The kangaroo hops and goes boom, 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 so the stick was called the boomerang to chuck at the boomers. In fact, kangaroos feature strongly in his artwork and theories. He believes, for example, it was fighting kangaroos that inspired the game Aussie rules. But I'm more interested in why he started developing his idiosyncratic worldview in the first place. Like the name Australia, see, Australis. When I was on my family farm, father's farm down Market River, yeah. I did think to myself at the time, I was only about, say, about 11, 12, how come it's called the Golden West and everything green? Everything green, different from in the wheat belt. Forty years later, I hear Linda is carving away, and all of a sudden, and I should have worked on it a long time before because I've worked with geologists for 10 years, yeah. I know the symbol for gold is AU. Yeah. All of a sudden it hit me, I said, yeah, that's how the country got its name. From Africa, you're going toward the gold, AU, the golden sunrise. So yeah. And while not exactly a conventional explanation, there is an undeniable logic behind it. And he's certainly a resourceful man. See, what happens when the talc starts um, filling up a bit, I'll make bricks out of it. See those basic blocks? That's all talc and cement. You fill them up, something down with that thing in the middle, then you throw it out like that, and out comes the brick. Like that. And then there's the man-powered washing machine. When there's no wind, you've got to get on here and pedal away and do the washing. But you can, uh, you lock one end and then the wind turns it around. So you, that drives the agitator, but you've got to go fairly fast. That's more or less oh, if it's really blowing. Yeah, yeah, really blowing, yeah. But by his own admission, gardening's not his strong suit. Sweet potatoes are starting to come out of it. Sweet potato leaf, you can actually eat it. It's like a salad. It's all yours, you can have it. No, no, I mean if you're going bad, you know. This is the native uh, leaf too, when there's a lot of rain around the sand hills, this pops up everywhere. It's got a lot of moisture in it. And you need a bit of moisture, chomp away at that. Well, if you had a nice piece of steak, kangaroo steak or something, and you had that, and a bit of rice there, you'd have yourself a good meal, wouldn't you? Oh, Alf, it's awful. Oh, come on. <laughs> you have to be, yeah, well, I'd have to be going bad to eat. Oh, God, this is all around. Like Burke and Wills walked all the way across the country, came back to the waterhole at Inaminka and died. Because they hadn't come to terms with the local conditions. Yeah, Tucker. they wouldn't listen to the blackfellas. They wouldn't listen to the blackfellas, eh? And we're in the same situation at the moment. We're not listening to them. We don't even accept their footy, uh, orange or footy. We don't put their flag up on the top of the national flag pole. We're not listening. It's not good enough. And if we don't listen, we'll be in trouble one day. I think we're already in trouble, Al. No, well, it's time to lift things up a bit. Let it go on record that Talc Alf is oh, doing his bit. Bloody hell, I'm soldering on for the land. Good <laughs> good on, okay, right, I'll grind it. But you can have as much of that stuff as you like. You can have all that. Give me a good old-fashioned iceberg lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> It's bigger than Texas and flatter than Spain And it's the best country I've ever seen